Even in a rest stop by the highway, flowers still smell sweet. And I've had no problem with motion sickness whatsoever. Motion sickness is a very unmanly trait. And I tried to watch a dogma movie this morning on the bus, and the dogma camera was moving on the other direction of the bus. So I got seasick both up and down and from side to side. Oh, it's a like, you're feeling it today? <laughs> but exactly the same thing. I'm not drunk, it's the bus. I've been writing a little bit about reincarnation in my last four books. Not in some woo-woo kind of, I want to convert you. And uh, today we're auctioning off this poster. It will be signed by the authors. And all the money goes to Project Read. Somebody's got to start a fiber. Well done, that lady. Do I hear there's, there's money in the room, you can smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> $175 going once. 185. 185. <laughs> oh, this. Sold for $185. Well done, sir. Hi, my name is Jane Sharp. I think every writer writes a little bit about themselves, but it, I remember once interviewing James Lee Burke and Burke said that he thought he was mainly the good people in his books, that the bad ones didn't really have a whole lot to do with him. I wouldn't want to be as tormented as he is, I wouldn't want to be as difficult as he is, but there are aspects of him that are my personality magnified slightly, I think. She meets this new man and she has two kids and they get a divorce, you know. Things are developing for her a lot. It, this, no, this doesn't follow my, no, this is not my life. This isn't following my life at all. I did not kill my boyfriend. My parents are happily married teetotalers. Other than we both like fragrance, I actually write to get away from myself. I don't write to examine myself. I don't think I'm very interesting. And so I really like to write about people that I find fascinating, who have lives that I think are interesting. How Cork sees the world is how I see the world. Cork believes in justice, I believe in justice. Cork believes that family is probably the most significant relationship in life, and that's what I believe. and rolling of the bus. <laughs> About running out of toilet paper than anything else I've posted. So we need to, do, we have to have more bathroom humor on the bus or something. We're not a wild and crazy bunch, you know? Fighting with a good guy, she was standing in a corner going, ah! <laughs> so if, it, if I can be indulged, it's not very long. It looks awfully long, but it really isn't. And I talk terribly, terribly fast. Uh, is that okay? I mean, I don't really. Oh, uh, how, sure long, how long exactly is it? Oh, <laughs> it probably it won't linger quite as long as the perfume that you're flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, I'm going to say having to pick between your books is like choosing between your kids. You know, but I'll do it anyway. Actually, I do like the non-fiction books that I've written the most. Um, what are they called? They're called, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help each other. And that's true. And you don't want to go there. Uh, it's Madeleine Albright who said that. And I borrowed her quote for the title of the book that I wrote together with a friend. Oh, Far and Away, Thunder Bay is my favorite book. 
it was, I believe, the sixth, maybe the seventh book in the series. I love the theme of that book, which is essentially the sacrifices we're willing to make in the name of love. Um, it's called The Hypnotist, and it takes, most of the book yeah. takes place in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I grew up on 80th Street those? and Madison Avenue, which is basically oh, no. one block okay. away from the museum. And I started taking art classes at the museum when I was six years old. I wanted to be an artist. It was my favorite place to go in the whole world with my mom, and we went there instead of going to the playground all the time.